What is up guys? Welcome to the video. So this is the last and final marathon prep video before the marathon. So we are currently three days away from the national marathon. Again, this is my first marathon. This has been an eight week prep and I definitely don't recommend doing it the way I did it. You know, I kind of just jumped into the lion's den and um, just started chipping away, but had some friends that were doing a marathon. They asked me to join. Sure, why not? So we are currently three days away, very excited. So today is going to be a easy run. This will be my last run of this prep. And here we go. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my lovely wife, Laura. I said, enjoy your last miles, my love. <laughs> Crazy, bro. This is it, down to the last couple miles before the marathon. So, all right, here we go. All right, so for today's run, we are running three miles, staying at roughly a 10 minute per mile pace. Nice and easy run, nothing crazy, while staying in zone two heart rate. So that is about 115 to 129 beats per minute for me. And we're just gonna cruise three miles, nice and easy. I got it here on my watch. So this is the Garmin. Uh, Forerunner 245 and I also use my whoop to track my heart rate. The watch does track the heart rate but I haven't used using whoop for so long that I like to just stay with that so it does connect to the watch and it says the heart rate right here which is pretty cool. And so one thing that I've been really aware of for the day of the marathon is at the starting line. So at that starting line once that gun goes off everyone's gonna go out hot. They're gonna go fast, they're feeling fresh, but I need to stick to my game plan because if I try to follow others, I'm gonna crash and burn. <laughs> and a lot of people have been saying that the marathon starts at mile 20. So I definitely need to save some energy for that last six miles. So, all right, easy three miles today, and I'll check with you guys after the run. Alrighty guys, three miles in the books and uh, we did complete it in 30 minutes exactly. I did stick to my 10 minute per mile pace and overall felt pretty good. Nice easy run, nothing crazy. So just getting in some post-workout nutrition now. Again, I do Vegan Power Pro and Ignition. This is going to help deliver nutrients to the muscles as well as there's vitamins and minerals inside of Ignition. So not only is it a fast digesting carb, also getting vitamins and minerals as well hydrate, replenish. And I've been keeping my nutrition exactly the same throughout this prep. So after every run, I take my Vegan Power Pro and Ignition. So that way everything's kind of on point. And then also with my meals, you know, I still eat lots of sweet potato, lots of yuca, oats. For breakfast, I had my, my daily morning bowl, which is oats, peanut butter, banana, maple syrup, with the chicken apple sausages in there. And then I also do have creatine and collagen. That was my breakfast. And now post-workout shake here. Oh, and it's delicious. So this is the French toast flavor. I'm gonna finish this, and then I'm gonna do some stretching and mobility, and then um, I'll check back with you guys shortly. So this is how I weigh my sweet potatoes before I bake them. I'll just put them on the scale and I'll write the number on the potato itself. And then I like to cook them at 400 degrees for about one hour to one hour and 15 minutes, depending on how big the sweet potato is. And I find this way it comes out super delicious, very flavorful. I mean, the microwave is pretty fast, but it is so much better when you bake the sweet potato. It gives it more of like a nice sweet flavor and it's amazing. And now it is time for a little lunch. So I cooked my chicken patties in the air fryer like I do every single day. 
So we did two chicken patties with some peanut butter inside one of the sweet potatoes. We have some broccoli and a little bit of barbecue sauce on the chicken patties. Voila. Alrighty guys, so it is just about time to make some dinner and instead of having sweet potato and yuca once again, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, make some pasta. The last couple full days of eating, I've been eating the same exact thing and I'm just gonna switch it up for you guys a little bit. I love what I eat, but I also do love variety as well. So we're gonna be making some of this chickpea pasta. This stuff is actually pretty tasty. I mean, it doesn't taste like real deal gluten pasta, but it is still pretty good. I'm gonna be using this sauce here by Raul's. And then also I'm gonna use the other two chicken patties that I cooked earlier. I'm just gonna dice them up, crumble them, so it's almost like a chicken meat sauce. So here we go. Are you waiting to eat too, mama? Are you waiting to eat? <laughs> Are you hungry? Huh? You wanna eat dinner? Are you hungry? Huh? Are you hungry? Yeah. Dinner is served. So we got some high protein pasta. So we got chickpea pasta with chicken and Raul's tomato basil sauce. All right, here we go. I'm excited to eat this. All right, if you guys wanna know the macros, I'll let you guys know the macros because it is uh, pretty high protein. 84 grams of protein, 108 grams of carbohydrates, and 39 grams of fat in this meal. 1,050 calories. Bon appetit. Oh, so you guys wanna know what I've been thinking about doing lately? Is doing that challenge where it's eat 10,000 calories, but also burn 10,000 calories in the same day. I really wanna try that challenge because you guys have seen me eat 10,000 calories many, many times. But to eat 10,000 calories and burn 10, well actually just to burn 10,000 calories in one day is extremely difficult. So, I don't know. Comment down below if you guys wanna see that challenge. Listo. All right guys, now time for some acai. 150 grams of frozen mixed berries. Bro, this acai is so good. Mm. Money. So, let's talk about the marathon and my strategy. Oh, actually, before we dive into the marathon, remember that CrossFit competition I was telling you guys about with me and Laura? Well, we ended up winning. <laughs> so we won, we competed last Saturday and we took first place in the RX co-ed duo division. So that was really awesome and I'm still so shocked and I'm, I'm just still blown away. I can't believe it that we won, which is it's so cool because we didn't even practice any of the workouts. Literally, like we didn't have time because she's been in Miami, I've been here. We both just recently did our quarterfinals when I was down there, so we didn't have any extra time whatsoever. And we kind of just worked together um, like five minutes before each workout, we had a little bit of time to kind of go through it in our minds and, and, and go through it and practice a little bit. And then literally just went out to the competition floor and, and just crushed it, which was amazing, bro. I, I still can't believe it. It was so awesome. Babe, if you're watching this, te amo, te extraño. I'll see you soon. And um, bro, we had such a good time. But overall, it's our first win together competing and it was great. So stay tuned for a video coming soon. And now back to the marathon. So my plan for the marathon is try to hang on to a 10 minute mile pace. If I do that, I will finish the marathon in four hours and 22 minutes. That's if I continually keep moving and don't stop whatsoever. I'm thinking that halfway through the marathon, like 13.1, 
I'm going to take a little bit of a break and do probably like a fast paced walk for like maybe one to two minutes. That's something that we've been practicing on the longer runs because realistically to run straight 26 miles, that's a lot. You guys kind of seen what happened on my last 20 mile run. And again, there was a lot of fatigue that did accumulate over these last few weeks because I was just stacking miles after miles after miles after miles because I was on such a short time frame for this marathon prep. So again, I did prep eight weeks, which isn't a lot at all, but overall I'm feeling good. I'm ready to attack this and uh, see what happens. So the goal is to finish sub 430. If I finish a little over four and a half hours, whatever, but in my mind, I'm like, I wanna try to go sub 430. But whatever I finish, it's gonna be a PR because this is my first marathon. But yeah, that is the goal. And that is a strategy, you know, stay hydrated, um, get the, the goo gels in there every 30 minutes. There we go. So stay tuned for another marathon video coming soon with a marathon in it. So hope you guys enjoyed this series and um, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And again, stay tuned for Nashville 26.2 miles. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be wild. And again, thank you guys so much for the love and support. So that is gonna be it for today. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.